three children have been removed from their foster parents in Britain because of the political views of the couple leading to public anger. The council branded them unfit for fostering because they're supporters of the UK Independence Party and were looking after ethnic children. Well, earlier my colleague, the band Motse, spoke to RT's Polly Boyko about the confusion and controversy surrounding this case. This, by all accounts, is a family with an exemplary fostering record. They've been fostering kids for the last 12 years, and uh, why their membership of a, of a political party, a very mainstream political party, should now affect that, it's unclear. But it's the fact that this local council received this tip-off, as they say, that they are members of this party, and that's the reason why the children were taken away. So a lot of people very angry about that in the UK at the moment. If you think about it, in one way, it's kind of like it defeats the point. If a couple wants to adopt uh, or foster multicultural children, it's very, very strange, Chabby. As I said, uh, a lot of people saying that this is a clear case of political correctness gone very wrong once again in Britain, with kids that need to be cared for uh, taken away from a very good, loving home because of uh, these uh, political views that are very mainstream. By the latest polls, up uh, something like 9% of the UK supports UKIP. Yes, they're Eurosceptic. Yes, uh, they're, they're, uh, they want want immigration to be curbed, but it's very peculiar indeed. What's the rest of the general public saying about this? I mean, should we now expect all foster families to undergo scrutiny of political views if they're thinking of adopting or fostering kids? Well, the short answer is no, Tabby. Uh, foster families should not undergo any sort of scrutiny about their political views. There's lots of children that need to be fostered, and these people do a very brave, a very altruistic and courageous thing. And the fact is, is that uh, it's, uh, it, this move has ruffled the feathers, not of just uh, uh, supporters of UKIP, but of people that campaign for fostering, because they say that it's a very bad move that's going to put a lot of prospective foster parents that want to do a very good thing off potentially fostering more kids that really need to be rehomed so um, it's a very sensitive issue and as I said it's ruffled the feathers of a lot of people let's now discuss this with Paul Nuttall he's UK Independence Party MEP for the northwest of England joining me live there from Liverpool so uh, the council has accused your party of racist policies so how do you respond to that well, I think it's outrageous to be perfectly honest with you. We're not a racist party. In fact, um, we, we, we are anti racist and it's written into our constitution. In fact, on the same day as the by election in uh, Rotherham, which is Thursday, there's a by election in Croydon North with our candidates black. And uh, I think it's an absolute disgrace. And I think it's a case of desperation, really. Mm -hmm. From the Labour Party, we have a by election, as I said, in Rotherham exactly in the same area where this terrible incident has taken place and the council have gone ahead and persecuted this family because they're members of UKIP. I'm not too sure whether this is a coincidence or not. Now your party is though critical of multiculturalism and political correctness. Is this incident mm -hmm. an indication that perhaps you're being misunderstood and you're failing to communicate your policies? Absolutely not. I think our policies are quite clear. I think the fact that we're now around 10 to 12 percent in the opinion polls goes ahead and shows that and the fact is is that uh, Ed Miliband the leader of the Labour Party has come out and said there needs to be an investigation into this uh, Michael Gove the Conservative Education Secretary has come out and said that this is a disgrace so we're getting backing not just uh, from the people because the public is on the whole behind us on this they think it's a disgrace uh, we're also getting the backing from other political parties as well so you agree with uh, the whole idea that no matter what political persuasion couples are they should be able to adopt children well, look, this couple have been foster parents for the past seven years. They've been giving children homes and doing a good job. Uh, what happened here is, uh, is a case of persecution. I think it's absolutely wrong. And the people who will suffer as a result will be the children because they've been happy there. I've read in the report today that they've be one of the children has begun to call them mummy and daddy. They, they were loved. And what will happen to these children now? Look, but but, but Paul, Paul, Paul isn't, children, isn't bringing children if, up if, in a political environment of uh, consideration? For example, would you be happy to see members of the British British Nationalist Party adopting or fostering children, a far-right political party accused of racism. 
Well, look, I think each case needs to be taken uh, on a sole basis, and we are not a racist party. It's quite clear. It's written into our constitution. We actually ban members who've been members of the British National Party in the past. We are completely and utterly anti-racist, and I think that there is no coincidence that this has happened when there is a by-election in that area on Thursday where UKIP is projected to do very well indeed. Could UKIP uh, see this as a political advantage and bring to the attention uh, the fact that the adoption and fostering laws in the UK really do need a shake-up? I understand like seven out of eight parents have rejected uh, the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the possibility to foster or, or adopt. Uh, is that an area that perhaps that you could now pursue? Well, I think it's something that certainly needs to be looked at. I mean, there are 70,000 children in care in this country, which quite frankly is obscene. There is too many, and what we need to be doing is getting these children out of care and into good homes, because you know the statistics don't lie on this. Children in care are more likely to grow up and end up in prison and not do well at school, etc. The best place for children in care to be is with loving families, and that's why this whole thing is obscene. Paul Nuttall, United Kingdom, Independence Party MEP for the North West of England, thank you for your time. Thanks for joining us.